Hi guys, Dolly here. I am outside of Two Day FM Radio in Cranbrook, British Columbia, and we're here to interview community icon, lifelong storyteller, published book author, and host of Mornings with Dennis Walker, Mr. Dennis Walker. Let's go. This is 107.5 Today FM, the East Kootenays playlist. We are in motion right now with Shaw Spotlight and uh, Dolly's with us today. Dennis, thank you so much for allowing me in the studio today. I am very excited to be the one to interview the interviewer. I am excited to be able to go through your series of events, really, in this community. You've been here for six years, correct? Yeah, six years. And that was 27 years prior that you spent in Penticton? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. It is amazing that you're such a voice, such a strong voice in our community. They look to you for information, for advice, and often humor. And so I really think that you're not only my friend, I don't get to come in here and speak to my friend, I think that those listening really consider you a friend as well. They see value in you coming in every morning because that's what they tune into. Very good. Well, I hope they do. I'm trying to keep it a family-friendly type show. I don't do any shock radio or anything like that and just talk about things that are in the community. So yeah. I think it works well. Well, I think it's they need genuine, that. right? Try they find to. you authentic, and that's what connects them. A lot of my sounders that you hear on the air, they come from my bike. I yeah. just take my little MP3 and interview people and bring them back and put them on the radio. I think people like it because you can't get that, uh, uh, that information anywhere else. If you turn to a satellite radio station, you know, you're not getting things no, that are happening it's like, here. No, it's like grains and sand. You're invested into the community and you're pulling them out. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So I'm here to ask you a few questions. And you've had a plethora of interviews over the years that really um, are based on your long, wonderful career. Today we're going to ask a few oddball questions. We're going to get to know Dennis Walker a little bit. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Sure. Okay, so the first three are a little bit, so I want you to tell me not about your 40 years, because you just celebrated your 40th year on radio. So I don't want to hear about all of that. I want to hear how it felt on the day. What did that day feel like? Because you got calls from all over the world. So what was the inside Dennis Walker excitement? How did that go? I was actually pretty, I was, I, I forgot about how many people I'd actually worked with over the years, because this industry is very transient. So to hear from some of these people that I hadn't heard from forever, and you have to realize, not all of them stayed in broadcasting. Mm. You know, uh, one was a truck driver in Manitoba, and I could barely hear him on the air. <laughs> and another, another was, uh, you know, a lady that came and helped me judge a pumpkin contest many years ago. So this is really like the characters that created the culture of your life kind of came together on yeah, that day, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. And uh, 21. Very 21 good. people. So you that went took home time. smiling that day, didn't you? Yeah, it was nice. Wonderful. It was really nice. So take us back. The first day for Dennis Walker, for little Dennis Walker on radio, all those years ago. Can you walk us through and maybe were there any strong memories that st to this day resonate into your performance and profession now? Oh yeah, I played a whole song on cue my first shift, which means it didn't go out on the <laughs> air. And there was a lady listening. My, my career started in Creston out of high school. Mm. And uh, <laughs> I had a song playing and the phone lines are lighting up and I thought, wow, there's people listening to me or you know, there must have been a car accident or something. And this, this lady I know well, Ina Allen from, um, from Wendell, She's on the phone, she goes, Dennis, there's nothing going on in the air. And I said, oh, I can hear it here, you know, it must be your radio. So she, she checks radios in her house. She goes, I don't think it's getting out there. I should have clued in, there's all these phone lines going. And it wasn't. And I, I couldn't, I was having trouble distinguishing the, the cue sound, which was the one that doesn't go out on air, and the one that did. So that is the most memorable part of the whole night was a great big mistake. And you think the average song is three and a half, three and a half minutes. So uh, that was my first night. That was, that, that's how I remember my first shift. Excellent. Okay, um, one more, more serious question before we get to uh, a little bit of play. In your career, what would you say is the most iconic event that you have reported on globally, locally, and personally? I think probably the Garnet Fire in 1994. The, the flames were moving in on Pentict, and I was on three or four different talk shows internationally. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then is there one locally here in this region uh, that, that stands out in your memory? So far? Yeah. Uh, having done 
Murdoch on the air, the former National Hockey League player from Cranbrook, along with Ron McLean when Rogers. That's hockey, exciting. Yeah, that was really nice of Don to come on and do that. Yeah, Ron McLean was on air with us. I think he's probably one of the more profile names I've had on since being here. I, I did interview Bill Cosby once. Wow. And of course, after that. Do you, you know, admit that or think, not admit that? Well, that, that's sure. what I mean. And now it's not such a big deal, but at the time. Uh, at the yeah. time, it would have been quite. Yeah. Um, so, and then how about personally? An achievement or anything really in that career span that, that stands, I'm sure there's many really, but one for how about in the last six years that you've been here? Well, uh, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal I had just been awarded before I moved to Cranbrook. Yeah. Well, that's a yeah. pretty big one, Dan. Yeah. And there's been a couple of programming awards here in Cranbrook, yeah, yeah. With, with, within the Vista Radio Network. Um, how about we get back on, on your, your viewers, your listeners are missing you. How about we get back on air and well, they can listen can, to us have a few questions. We can do that right okay. now, yeah. 107.5 Today FM, and we are in motion right now with Shaw Spotlight, and uh, Dolly's with us today. Hello, it's, it's, Dennis. You get a different, yeah. Do you want to read the weather? I would love okay, to try. Here's the way we do I don't it know now. if I... Yeah, here's what happens now. Sponsors, okay. pr sponsors, you only read the for the today and tomorrow, okay? Okay. So sponsors pay for these breaks, so I'm going to play a bumble tree ad, and we're going to come back, and you're going to give the weather, okay? So you wait for my I cue. I like it. I'm excited. Today, sunny, widespread smoke, wind becoming out of the south, 20 kilometers an hour, gusting to 40. This afternoon, high of 34, the UV index is 10, or very high. Tonight, clear with widespread smoke, wind south, 20 kilometers an hour, gusting to 4, becoming light this evening, lower 15. Can I do an accent next time I do something? <laughs> I would like to try. Okay, <laughs> and give them the temperature now. The T temperature. Tell them it's, it's 15 degrees it's, in downtown Cranbrook. Thank you, Dennis. It is 15 degrees in downtown Cranbrook. Excellent. Okay, well, Dennis, I have a few questions for you. Can we, can we kick it over to some questions, or are we going to come back to some news first? Oh, we can do whatever you like. Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, no I, love when, I love when I enter a radio studio and someone says that to me. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we're here with Dolly and Associates, which is going to be aired on Shaw Spotlight. I chose you to speak with today because you are such an impactful member of the community. But I have a few, like, oddball questions because all your interviews in the past, they really focus on this amazing career that you've had. Um, but let's get to know our friend, Dennis okay. Walker, yes? Okay. Okay, so... Um, do we have time to go, or should we kick a song in? No, we, we, no we're fine. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, okay we're fine. speaking of songs, and I'm just going to start with a song one. You listen to a lot of music, my friend. Is there, there's probably a few, but give me one song that makes you dance in studio. Makes me dance in studio. <laughs> Can I tell you the truth on this? Yes. <laughs> I, li I like bluegrass music. <laughs> so, but, it, but you, get, you get a little shake going on? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Can, yeah, what do I it. dance to? Uh, yeah, I'll probably, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe Uncle Penn by Ricky Skaggs. Maybe there we go. I like it, though. I'm, like I'm going to have to check into that, though. Yeah, they, they do Cotton Eye Joe, too. Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah, okay. whatever. You have just created a surgence of people Googling that and now listening, <laughs> so they're going yeah. to owe you some royalties. Next question is your favorite favorite contest to run and to have people involved in the community on air what and even not just you're with your six years in the community but throughout your span what's the kind of most outrageous fun contest you've you've had it's probably giving away cars because Ooh. more most people get the bigger the prizes are the more yeah the more people get involved with that one but um, one of our biggest contests was taking people on a Caribbean cruise so for me <clears> could we do that one again yeah <laughs> Oh, did you, yeah. <laughs> Not today, but as a joke, because I'd like to apply. Oh, I see. Yeah, no. Yeah, 1996, we uh, had a Caribbean cruise promotion. Not Wonderful. hard to get people to call in for that one. And that's for sure the most exciting one I ever had. So you, you did the contest, but then you were also on the cruise? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's like, join me. Hi, I'm Dennis Walker. Join me on a cruise of the Caribbean. We'll stop in Cozumel. Okay, if anyone know. out there in the listening community would like to host that promotion, hey, Dennis Walker going forward. I'll have to try that one here. There we go. Let's <laughs> do it. Look, we've already just put the call out. Somebody's yeah, going right. to call you. You're going to have an email before the end of the show. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, yeah that was the most, for sure, the most uh, yeah, impressive one that I ever did. It was a lot of fun, too. Good. Yeah. Well, that would be, a, um, yes. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Um, next one. It's an easy one. Go to pizza order. Pepperoni, that's it. 
Ooh, you're I don't like in. too many flavors. Yeah. I don't, uh, well, pe pepperoni. You know what else I, I like is, is um, a, a spanico pizza. Oh yeah. Which I always used to order before, and I haven't found a good one yet that I really like. But yeah, but no, I, I don't like too many flavors. I find it mixes them all up. I just like this. I like a normal pepperoni is probably the my favorite favorite favorite. Excellent. Yep. Good. My kids would agree with you. Yeah, and spanico's in there too. Very nice. Good. Good. One uh, A. One A. <laughs> um, let's see, you are a published author. I know this because I see your book all around the community. You don't even have to tell us that you've written. It's there, it's present, it's viewable. Um, aside from your book, what is your favorite to read? What book really hits you lately? Lately? Local authors because they're yeah. the ones that help me. So I could probably say Dave Butler safely. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. One, any one of his books, his publications, because he's got the, the Jenny series, right? Excellent. So yeah, they're very good. Excellent. <laughs> um, okay, so one more here. Most extreme on-air location So um, that, you've, that you've reported from? Theo's at 10,000 feet, and it was a promotion for a child development center. In at 10,000 feet for yeah, a child development center. Yeah, and what they center. did was they had a draw and this was to support a child development center in the winter. It got flown by helicopter to the top of a mountain overlooking Skaha Lake. Ah, beautiful. And because we were promoting it, they invited me up with it. But it was kind of funny because they took violins and everything, and then they would serenade people at the top of the mountain. So wow. two couples went. Yeah, we were calling ourselves the Sherpas because we weren't allowed to get anywhere near where they were having dinner. Um, okay, so can we kick it over to a song and yeah. come back into it? Yeah, you're going to do the introduction for it? Uh, for the, yes, What's the song? <laughs> Dennis, tell me the song. Here's the Chainsmokers on 107.5 Today FM. Can Ladies and gentlemen, that? coming up next is the Chainsmokers on 107.5 Today FM. And it's that time of day that everyone is excited about. If you want to get qualified for the endless summer promotion, we have a bit of a challenge for you. We're going to get a contestant to call in to the Dennis Walker hotline and answer this simple question. What year did Dennis Walker begin on air? Minus 40 years, that'll help you out. Very good. Today FM Endless Summer Contest. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, who's calling today? It's Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, what year? 1981. Dun-da-da! -da! Robin, you are the winner. You're excellent at math. Yay. Good, thank awesome. you. Where are you listening today? At home, thank Robin? You. Are you at home? I am at home, yes. Okay, excellent. Robin, thanks for calling. You have, you're, you're quick to the phone, my friend. Awesome, I'm so happy to hear I got in, that's great. And thanks for tuning in here today. Have a great day, awesome. Robin, thanks. Thank you, you guys too, thank you so much. 9.47, if you've been following along with us, I want to thank Shaw Spotlight here for Dolly for coming in today. Very good. We'll, f we'll wrap things up and, and thank you for thinking of me here today. Dennis, thank you so much for having us and it's always a pleasure. How was it to have your studio taken over and for you to be interviewed? I got to tell you, you asked me some questions that I don't normally get asked, which is good, but you've got to think quick. Yeah. And so does the other person at the other end when I'm doing it. Thank you. Talk about thinking quick, though. I'm sitting here watching you do 14 things at once with a camera on, and you're editing, and you're emailing, and you're answering, and you are an impressive human, my friend. And thank you so much for having Dolly & Associates in. Again, it, uh, it's a chance for us to pull inspiring and influential people in the community together to do some really wonderful things. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to the final product. And that's a wrap from Two Day FM. Be sure to check out Dolly and Associates on Facebook, YouTube, and right here on Shaw Spotlight. We'll see you next time.